step seven, slide seven. So I'm going to look, well, slide seven, sorry, over here. It says number six here. Just make sure you notice that. So now I'm going to go back to my previous slides and come up with my triggers. All right. And I'm going to identify as many as I can, right, right here. And then I'm going to have an image to go with it. So here I'm going to change the title to my triggers. Okay. And remember, a trigger is something that, uh, you know, makes your cup a little more full, emotionally affects you. So let's just go back. Uh, so I go back to this one. So it started a new role and I was really excited. Okay, that was not a trigger. That's when I was feeling really good. Empty cup. Go here. Fill in my cup a little bit. My other job duties and extra duties not in my job description are taking more time than I thought. Okay, so trigger was uh, more work than originally expected. Um, taking more time than planned. Okay. Let's make sure we spell that right. All right. So that's one of my triggers there. Um, let's look at here. Another cup filler, not enough time scheduled to produce PLT lab. Okay. Yeah. So um, not scheduling enough time or running out of time to plan ahead. Right. So not planning ahead is definitely a trigger for me or not feeling like I'm getting ahead, right? Um, okay, next, another cut filler, falling behind due to being out in the training. Okay. Um, so really this one is more not running out of time, but feeling like I can't get ahead on my work. Right, that's actually the trigger. It's the feelings that are the trigger, right? It's not that thing. Okay. Um, sorry, I just lost track of myself. Yeah. Okay. So I fell behind on training. So falling behind on work and feeling like I need to work extra to catch up. That's a tough feeling for me. That's definitely a, a big trigger. And then the final thing I worked through the weekend. So, um, working through the weekend no time for self. I happen to be one of those people that recharges by kind of just like hiding from people. Um, and that's really important to me. So I look through here. I could probably come up with more triggers, right? Based on the things like there's probably multiple triggers involved in each one. But if I look through, here's a pretty good list of triggers, right? More work than originally expected or work taking more time than I expected. Feeling like I can't get ahead on my work, just kind of maintaining, staying in the middle when I want to get ahead, falling behind on the work, feeling like I need to get work extra to catch up and working through the weekend, no time for self. So I'm going to put some images here that kind of demonstrate each of those things to so do that.